Thank you, Chairman. Hi, how y'all doing? Thanks for being here with us today. I, uh, I really wasn't going to say anything until I heard the uh, prior speakers, and I want to get it right out there. I was given two chances as a representative to vote on the non-preferred appropriations and voted positively each time, just to get that out there. Now, I'm from Pittsburgh area, Chancellor. And I picked this up in the Sunday Post-Gazette. And I thought there were a few points of clarification we had to make. Okay. We all readily acknowledge that you are doing a great job managing this funding crisis. Earlier you identified that what we need to do is push the vote over the 66% line. You're exactly right. Again, I was given two chances and voted for it both times. I imagine everyone stepping to the microphone will tell you whether they did or they did not. Now I do have one favor, and this is for you, Chancellor. Maybe save you some bucks. Right about one o'clock today, there was a coordinated email effort take place from University of Pittsburgh. That's 283 emails in the last hour. That's not bad. That's impressive. Um, Sir, I voted for your funding package. Direct those at someone else who didn't, okay? We've already uh, taken that down, and I do apologize for the uh, over-enthusiastic and uh, over-simplified uh, response. That's, I'm going to tell all of them. I keep doing what you want me to do. Why are you emailing me? Anyway, um, Mr. Jones, my daughter's a freshman at your university. Thank you. This has been the best experience of her life, um, Temple's role in the health care of Philadelphia is absolutely irrefutable and undeniable. Without you being there, the quality of health care goes down. And sir, I'm a, I'm a history teacher by trade. I truly appreciate Lincoln's role, and I commend you as well. Um, we're, trying, we're trying our best to get this done, all right? But it comes down to a point I made on the, on the floor one time, and, and I wish I could remember the exact quote from the gentleman from Clearfield, Mr. George, who used to bust out some of the greatest colloquialisms. But the one I remember was, it takes hay to feed horses. You can talk about it all you want, but at day's end, you gotta, you gotta feed them. That's what we've attempted to do. And I've gotta tell you, point blank, um, we're going to keep trying to do it, all right? But you could make the emails stop. 